Welcome back to some more Let's Play Trauma Team. We were last left off. We completed Maria's fourth mission, Mournful Hero. And then that she's got to learn to not do everything herself. She's got to learn how to work with, well with others. But what we're going to do next is we're going to go to Hank's next mission, which is Broken Heart. All right, let's go. Mister, it's your turn. You're gonna buy those or not? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll I'll just take this guy as well. Thank you. Come again. Something have happened? It'll be another five minutes before the doctor's helicopters get here. Where's the stretcher? Someone take this patient out of here. Damn it, it's no use over Quit here. standing around. Hey, Stable victims ready for transport. Allow me to help too, miss. You're that eagle man from the papers. That's just some bad press. Let's focus on saving this patient for now. Uh, oh, all right. He has several broken bones. What hospital can take him? Everywhere's full. We're sending the rest to Resurgum. You're transporting them to Resurgum First Care? But... Don't worry, our orthopedics department is top-notch. Oh, hey! Hey, isn't that the Eagle Man? That's him! He must have been behind all this! What? No, I had nothing to do with all this. No more excuses! Hey, police! Here's the culprit! <laughs> He's getting away! Get him! Get, Get back here, you filthy coward! No, no I, I'm not! Where have you been, Hank? Stop playing around and get ready. Oh, sorry. What is it? Is there a problem? No, uh, no. But I've lost sight of why we're saving people's lives. Quit thinking about useless crap like that. There's a patient here. Now isn't the time for this. You're absolutely right. Now, let's begin the operation. We've got multiple patients this time, so let's treat them as fast as we can. Oh, Indeed. God. This is our first patient. The wounds are in the right leg. Let's make an incision and see what's inside. All right. Let's get this started. The tibia is chipped. Hmm. We should fill it with synthetic bone. Better do this quickly. Quick. First, we need to prepare the connecting area. Then we'll use the synthetic bone. Okay. You're the specialist. I'll let you make the decisions here. Okay. All right, then. Set the saw. Let's make an excision along the guideline. Using the saw, hold and then twist. All right. Look at the saw's orientation and run it parallel to the guideline. Okay. Come on, motion controls. <gasps> okay, I need to stop. Steady, steady. Good. Cautiously continue on. Just 
Just like that. Not bad. Use the laser to cut it out. It's going well. Let's resume. Oh, okay. It's just good. Cautiously continue on. Cautiously continue on. Oh shit. Whoo. Oh god. Is coming. What was that static? You should wait until the guideline comes back. The hell was that? All right, let's proceed. We'll be careful. All right, carefully. Oh, God, this is nerve wracking. Push. Looks like you're on a roll. Whew. Oh my god. Jeez. I think it's time we bought a new machine. It's going well today. If I have to, I can stop. There's no need for perfect runs here. There we go. Not bad. The synthetic bone's been shaped. Let's move on to the next step. All right. Put the synthetic bone in the correct position. Okay. All right. Now to secure it with a plate. Prepare the drill. All right. Drill deep enough without touching the guidelines. Okay. Yeah. Ah, they got you a little bit too deep. Good. That is a little loose, but that's all right. Femoral neck is the next step. Femoral neck. This is off. Damn. This area has been completely shattered. Hmm. Looks like we have no choice but to replace it with an artificial joint. Right. Let's start this quickly. First, we have to extract the bone fragments. All right. Keep going with the other pieces to get the saw. We need to work on it so that the stem can be driven in. Don't leave the guideline. Using a saw isn't like using a scalpel after all. Good, good. There's no need to hurry. Alright. That should do it. Can you bring out the stem? Make sure it's secure, but don't hit it too far in. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good. It's been driven into the right. <laughs> right. There you go. Secure. Now to attach the ball joint. Drive it in up to the guideline, okay? And right. <laughs> that's it. Continue on. <laughs> there you go. Alright, scraping bone, slowly tilt. Stop when you reach the grind line. Shit! Be more careful. The cup needs to be attached now. Don't drive it down to the guideline. Watch how much force you use. Sheesh! Way too much force. Hey, at least nothing else went wrong. Hey, you get that side. Let's fit in the hip joint. All right, we're done here. Let's close up this patient. 
Didn't he say we have multiple patients though? Oh, that's great. Match the guide and staple the incision closed. Good. Cautiously continue on. Alright, bring in the next patient. We'll begin treatment immediately. The damaged area is the left leg. Oh, we have to multiple patients. Back is killing me. Let's finish taking care of this guy already. <laughs> I have a job here. Jeez, man. Looks like we can treat the cervical neck with pins. However, the rest of it's going to need to be secured with a plate. That seems like the appropriate treatment. Let's start by collecting the bone fragments. So grab it, thank you. Alright, pieces have been picked up. Now put the fibula back in its original position. Okay. Put them back into place. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's proceed, but be careful. This doesn't Damn. I was too cautious. I was too, uh, Good. quick Cautiously to judge. There you go. All the fragments are back in place. Let's begin treating the fibula. Use the drill to open a hole. Watch out for the guidelines. <laughs> Jeez, man. Oh, what? That was pretty good. Why'd you stop me? <laughs> Screws ready. There's a little bit of ending lag after you release it. So you want to release it a little early. That one's a little loose. There we go. Rock solid. Let's move on to securing the fibula. Get the drill. We just need a single. I'm going too damn fast. Sweet. Alright, hammer in there. There we go. Alright, we have to drill it in there. Okay. Perfect. Can you bring out the cup? Yeah. Make sure it fits completely, okay? It's useless if it's full of gaps. Watch yourself. Make it fit the guideline. All right. Good. Keep it up. Oh, come the fuck on. Really? The acetabulum is next. Attach the cup over here as well. Careful now. Scrape it down to the gun. Ah, uh, my ass. Nice. Stop! That's perfect. Now to attach the cup. Let's fit this in precisely. Watch yourself, okay? Don't use too much force. Nice there you go. go. You're a damn fine specialist. All you need to do is care about your patients. Let's fit this on the leg. Perfectness. Treatment complete. Let's close this patient up and end this. Yeah, seriously. Ready to staple it. Closing the patient up. That was pretty good. Well done. All the patients have been treated. We pulled it off. All that's left is to hope the patients recover. Operation successful. We did pretty good for the most part. I had a few screw ups, but not too bad.
Oh, but I got an S though. No problems. It went perfectly, as usual. Any other patients? I was the surgical side chief. And the kids handling those. They'll be difficult, but I'm sure you can pull it off. Well, now this is new. Something bothering you? That's when I made up my mind. I decided that I'd be an awesome hero who would save people. Have you stayed in contact with the child you rescued? Huh? Oh, that reminds me. I heard a letter came for me. I've been so busy that I haven't had time to get it. <laughs> I see. There's an important point you're missing. Uh huh? There's a limit to what even a hero can do by himself. A hero acting on his own only acts in vain. Hey, hey Hank! What's the matter? You leaving? Yeah. I'm going back to my room. Wondering where you were. Oh, Gabe. Oh, sorry. It's okay. You uh, free after this? Want to grab some drinks? Um. Well, I mean, it's totally fine if you don't want to. Actually, I I'd, I'd love to come along. Yeah, no worries. Maybe some other time. What? Uh you're actually gonna come? Um, would that be a problem? What? <laughs> of course not, big guy. And hey, it's on me this time, so just go nuts. Uh, well, <laughs> I wouldn't want to overdo it. What? You never come along. You're not getting off easy. Yeah, let's get crunk. All right, we're done here. We're finally gonna go back to Gabriel, man. Simplest truth. Let's do this nonsense. Yeah, the patient made it. I called in a special surgeon. I see, and the cause of it all? Could it be an epidemic? I can't say, like you. I'm getting a bad feeling here. We need to look into this as soon as possible, then. Yeah, you're right. Gabe? You sound tired. Did something else happen? Nah, it's, it's nothing. I've, I've just been fed up with myself lately. What's wrong? You don't seem like your usual self. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Anyways, try and get over here as soon as possible. Well, all right. Gabe, you there? Of course I am. Some of us can't loaf around on the job. How sweet. I'm gonna let that one slide. Your patient's being discharged today, but she wants to see you. The lady with Kaposi's? I wasn't the one who saved her. If she wants to talk to someone, call her surgeon. Oh, hell no! That guy is a serious asshole! Uh, whatever. I don't plan on going down there either. Anything else? Uh, yeah. There's one more thing. We're understaffed, and the chief wants you to take this one. Is that all? Well, give it here. But the patient's... 
Joshua? Well, if you don't want to, I can ask another doctor. What kind of doctor would I be if I chose my patients? Roni, let's start the diagnosis. Bring up the charts. Yes, Doctor. The patient's name is Joshua Cunningham. He is related to you by blood, Doctor. Is there a problem? Negative. But I can request a new doctor if you prefer. I'll be fine. Man, I really programmed you well. I must take into account the feelings of those around me. Observing colleagues allows me to gather their emotional data. Yeah, you're perfect. Now you just need to learn how to talk. Doctor? Yeah. Hello, Joshua. Um, Doctor, I don't hurt at all. Wh that can't be. I received a report from your nurse. That's weird. I'm all right, really. Hmm. Well, let's check you out. If I can't find anything, I'll let you go back to your room. Uh huh. Okay. I'm sorry, Doctor. Roni, I'm beginning the diagnosis. Are you ready? Yes, Doctor. Okay, well, we're gonna end the episode here. In the next episode, we're going to diagnose our son here, Joshua Cunningham. <sighs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.